This is your last milestone picture. I can't believe it. Finally made it to the 12. My goodness. He's wearing his backup outfit. Oh, I know you're gonna attack that. Good morning everyone, welcome to my October vlog. Today is Saturday, but we are heading to SoCal tomorrow, so today it's mostly packing. We are gonna meet up with my parents because they have a larger suitcase that they've been holding for me, so we're gonna switch off with them. And then I have a special Yelp event at True Dan where they're gonna give free boba to Yelp elites, so I'm gonna get my free boba, of course. And like I said, just more packing, and then tomorrow is the road trip. Hopefully, Ezra's gonna be ready for that, so. Let's get on with the October vlog. All right, we're back here at True Dan for my Yelp Elite event. Got one free one, and I got the jasmine green tea today. Yeah. Oh, nice. Maybe nice to have like a, a event here. Yeah. All right, we're here at the Apple Visitor Center to enjoy our boba. I am going to try the cold brew, jasmine tea cold brew. Hmm. Not quite as fragrant. Fragrant as I was Jasmine. expecting. Maybe because the ice melted. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what it is. It's not good because it's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. I always say I'm gonna get extra ice, but I never do. But maybe I should next time. But then I will dilute it further. True. Next time I'll try the oolong. We'll see. Oh, Can I yours? Is it only here? Ready for our road trip, Ezra? Our car is packed to the brim. We literally are making it out exactly on time. It takes us forever because a lot of the stuff he's sleeping in his pack and play, for example, his food can't be taken out any earlier, my breast milk. So we're on our way. It's about 12.30. Ezra took surprisingly about an hour and 50 minute nap. I was shocked. He woke up, now he's eating his lunch, and we are still on the way. Supposedly we have about three hours left. Two and a half, two hours and 45 minutes because there's a pretty big accident, I think, after the Great Flying, so we might be a little delayed, but making pretty good time, at least compared to last time, but that's because we were smarter and brought our own food. So, yeah, everything's looking pretty good except for the small traffic blip and as it's like a long nap, so that's all you can ask for. Hopefully he won't be too fussy for the rest of the trip. Last hour of the trip, resorting to Coco Melon. Shirtless boy. Careful. <laughs> you having fun in your wagon? I'm gonna go back for it now. <laughs> when in LA, we're here trying Xing Fu Tong. It's the place that stir fries or cooks the boba in a big vat. As 
usual, I don't really drink milk drinks, so he's gonna have to tell you how the brown sugar drink is. But I'm gonna try to see if I can either try the soft serve or get one of the regular tea drinks. Unfortunately, you can't get the brown sugar boba with the regular tea drink. I don't know why, you can only do strawberry boba, which might still be good, but yeah. So we're here in Diamond Plaza in Roland, and we're gonna try it and let you guys know how it is. First reaction. Milk is good quality. Sugar, it's more subtle, but it's good. Maybe you didn't mix enough. I don't think I like the boba. Too soft? Yep. It's too much like gelatin. Or not gelatin. Well, maybe like gelatin a little bit. Boba is not chewy. Tastes like strawberry, like real strawberry. The roasted oolong is definitely not like other roasted oolongs. It's a more light oolong. It's hard to tell the taste of the tea because the strawberry boba is so prominent, which is surprising because they wouldn't let me put brown sugar boba because it said it would alter the taste. I feel like the strawberry boba alters the taste. And let me try yours. All right, trying the original. Well, your boba is better than mine. It has a similar gelatin taste, though. Mm -hmm. Is that the right word, gelatin? Yeah, it's like when you bite into the boba, there's no, not really much bounce. It just kind of crunches onto it. But you're right, the, the brown sugar boba is not as strong as other brown sugar bobas. Like Jenju Don's, right? There's this really strong, like very sweet. Your first time sitting in the cart at Target, huh? You having fun? They're like, oh, we forgot what Ezra was like when he was that small. Yeah, it's not. They just put it on me. Hey, Ezra. Oh, he's not smiling anymore. He's giving you the look. He's like, wait a minute. No. All right, I am making Ezra smash cake. So it's based on the solid starts recipe. I'll link it below, but. It's basically a pumpkin. You can also do butternut squash puree with banana applesauce, flour. It's pretty simple. No added sugar, salt. And then I'm gonna make them into, hopefully I can get at least three of these four inch cake rounds to make a two tiered cake for his birthday party, the smash cake. And then I'll have one extra for his actual birthday on Friday. So we'll see how this all turns out. One third cup squash or pumpkin puree. Two thirds cup banana, about one small banana, they said to mash it. So I'll put in my banana. Looking good so far. Butter. Three cups of flour. It's 
done. Basically, it says it'll be very sticky and thick, and it's exactly that. So, we'll see how it turns out. two little cakes. So I'm gonna stack them and that'll be his smash cake. It actually smells really good and it basically, yeah, it seems kind of like a, a muffin cornbread biscuit type of uh, type of texture. Happy birthday, Ezra! You want like a well done. More prep making the photo strings. Wow, it looks really good. I wish I had video of it all. Yeah, because if it was just me and Darren, that would have been... Recognize yourself? That's you when you were a baby. Oh. Oh. Birthday, boy! Oh, so cute. <laughs> Everyone is here for Ezra. solo day for this mom. We and his dad is gonna watch Ezra while I hang out with my family a little bit. We're gonna go try the Sukaman place I've been meaning to try in Buena Park and get boba at Oro Bay hopefully. And yeah, just enjoy a nice Sunday afternoon. Line for our Oro Bay is super long. <laughs> no, first no. time. All right, if you could do me a huge favor, I apologize for the low uh, level of engagement, but make sure it's tasting great. Try it and earn it. I know you've waited a long time in our line. If it's not tasting perfect, let me know. I'll be standing right there. Okay. I'll have it sent back. We'll get it taken care of. Perfect. Thank perfect. you. All right, we were, we we're told to try these in earnest, so I got the pure roasted oolong. Four level sweet extra ice. I don't want to get sunburned though. Sorry. Mm. Good. Oh Chewy. God. What? So good in mango flavor. We should have gone there. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> It'll be too sweet for you though. Okay. 
Boba is chewy. So good mango flavor. Boba is chewy. Oh, sweet. Oh. But it's good though. Mm. Super sweet. Hold on, I need to try more of the tea flavor. Yeah. The tea is not super strong. Yeah. The Rachel's got level four. You got three? I got three. Wait, was is three the, the tea strength or the sweetness? Sweetness. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I would say three tastes like 25%. Actually, yeah, three tastes like 25%, but the boba is pretty sweet. So it's thing is normal. More sweet, right? Yeah. It's good, but it tastes more than we've mm -hmm. And what level did you get? No sweetness. Oh, no adjustment. I got four. I think I could have gone three. And normally I'm 50% at Boba Guys, 75% other places. So, but yeah, it was good. The boba is really chewy. Even though it got extra ice, I agree, it's still not cold enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're here at the camp because we want to scope out the new Boba Guys, even though we got Boba. But haven't been here in a long time and have a lot of little shops. It's cool to walk around and explore a little bit. I thought they were male. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Oh, oh that's cool. That's a QR like code. The menu and yeah. stuff. Oh, that's so nice. Hey. Do you hear my Oh, they have an herb in here. Hey, Dad, herb enough? Vibe. I don't know what angle is. Parents out on a weeknight. Actually, no, today's a Sunday. Okay. Woohoo! Baby free. Hi everyone, I haven't checked in in a while, but I've just been detoxing and relaxing ever since Ezra's birthday is over because, I mean, you know me, planning a birthday is never easy. And uh, thank you to everyone who helped out and set up the day of because if it wasn't for you guys, it would not have been successful. But it was a great birthday. I will be putting up the vlog, or it may or be up by now, of Ezra's birthday. And since then, we've just been hanging out with Hui's family. My family finally went back up north. And yeah, we have a few more days left here. We're leaving on Sunday to drive back home to NorCal. And it's been a good time here. Uh, Ezra has just been playing with his grandparents, uh, doing a lot of activities like going on the swing and slide. And I've just been able to relax and we as well and just get a lot of work done because as you guys know, when we're here, when, when we're at home, it's hard to get a lot of work done because Ezra just requires a lot of attention. And so it's nice to have babysitting where I can work when I need to work and get things done. And have meals cooked for me, cleaning, I just, it's very nice being here. So I think we're probably gonna get one more or maybe two more boba places before we head out. Uh, we were thinking about getting half and half again, even though I know it's like the OG boba place and there's probably other places that may be better now. I still feel like half and half has a special place in my heart and I still really like their boba. At least the last time I had it, maybe a year ago at this point. So we might do that and enjoy the rest of our time here. Santa Claus is here. Hi. Is it Christmas time already? Welcome to our October vlog and our 12 month update. Our last update, Ezra is a year old. I'm gonna let him down because he's not gonna. <laughs> okay, well, Ezra is a year old now. We had his birthday party. He did really well on his smash cake 
and he didn't really cry when we sang happy birthday. I was a little surprised. He even kept his crown on. And as I mentioned in my last vlog, he started walking. So he's a lot better at walking now and more confident, but he still hasn't been able to master getting up and from a sitting position into a walking position. So it's usually if he's already standing onto an object and he wants to go to another object, he's able to quickly maneuver between the two. So if he's already up, then he can walk. But he can't really get into the walking position on his own. He really wants the camera. Um, still no words. He has been clapping and waving and dancing a little. He kind of likes to move his arm when a certain song comes on that he likes. Uh, definitely voicing his opinion more. And since we're still in SoCal, I have not weaned him from the bottle. But once we go back up north, that is my next plan is to do that. So hopefully it'll go well. I don't think he's attached to the bottle necessarily. It's more of can he drink efficiently using the straw cup, which I don't think he's as used to. But we're just going to practice that. He also finished his Hunter First Foods before one. His last food was Chayote Squash, which was exciting to get all those foods under our belt. And we are still going strong with all of that. He will be starting cow's milk soon. I'm trying to think if there's any other updates other than him just being a very active boy, getting bored with things. Uh, Hui's mom also finally took him on the swing, so he really likes that. He went on the slide a few times with Hui. So he's definitely becoming more of a toddler, liking playground structures and swings. And taking him outside, I think, has definitely helped his naps because um, sometimes when you travel, he doesn't adjust that well, but he was fine even though we were going between two different houses so I really think taking him outside and tiring him out is a great thing for his naps and still sleeping through the night and having no issues so yeah I think you know this whole year was a lot changed rooms but yeah it's been a crazy year Ezra has grown so much and it's it's so interesting to see how much babies can absorb and learn and know and seeing his little brain work so we won't be doing these monthly updates anymore, but I hope you guys enjoyed them and was able to help see Ezra's development on his own. Say bye, Ezra. Say bye. Bye. Can you wave? No, okay. Ezra's first half and half experience. Take him inside to the OG. There's usually only two places left alive. So sad. Got my classic rose black tea. They actually have a 20, the regular size is 25 ounces. So it's a lot bigger than most other places. I just spilled all over myself. It's good though. Actually, the boba is still very good. Sweet, chewy. Okay, I'm gonna give it another shot because last time I spilled on myself. Good rose taste, chewy boba. No sweet boba. Still good. Last day in SoCal, so we're going out, just the two of us. Grandma's watching Ezra, and we're gonna try Legend Hot Chicken. It's supposed to be like a similar Nashville hot chicken type of place. And maybe dessert somewhere, not sure yet, but just gonna enjoy a meal where we don't have to eat within 15 minutes or have to constantly manage Ezra, which is nice. So we're gonna enjoy our lunch and enjoy our last sunny day here. Just finished our fried chicken sandwiches. I guess the Nashville hot chicken, although only we got the Nashville hot chicken because I can't eat spicy. So I got the original. They have a two slider and fry combo, which is pretty good for two people, like $12.99, reasonably priced. Their chicken is very crispy. It reminds me a little bit of Popeyes and 
I think because they're Asian owned, potentially Korean owned, I think they just have that very good like crispy fried chicken outer shell down. But the chicken wasn't as juicy as Helen Ray's and I think Hui and I were saying there's something about it that's not quite the same. I'm not sure if it's the breading, maybe it's not as thick. And then the bun was also very good too. It's like slightly buttered and crispy um, on the sides, but still soft, but maybe not as thick as Helen Ray's. I don't know. What did you think about your flavoring? It was good. Best Nashville hot chicken I've had outside, other than of, outside of Helen Ray's. Hmm. It's pretty good and very good value. For $13, you get two sliders and fries. Yeah, and the fries are good too. Crunchy, fresh. Crunchy. They definitely they definitely cook your food to order because we were waiting for maybe at least 10 minutes. So it's not like a fast place, but yeah, it was good. So if you like Nashville hot chicken and you're looking for a new place, it might be worth trying. Last boba of the trip, I got I went to Boba Bora and Walnut. Very aesthetic looking drinks with this little matte rounded cup. Got the roasted oolong, regular sweet with boba. Hmm. It's good roasted oolong. And the boba is chewy. Are you ready for your one year appointment? We're heading to the doctor, the pediatrician. Ezra's finally getting his 12 month appointment. So we'll see how much he weighs and make sure he's all healthy. Let's head out. You ready, Ezra? Let's go! You're such a big boy now. Guess he's 20 pounds finally. Thank you. Just got done with the appointment. Ezra got five vaccines and five shots and he was crying, but now he's good. And I got my flu shot too, which is nice because I wasn't able to find any appointments. We are heading home now and hopefully Ezra won't have any adverse reactions. But she said he's doing well and he's healthy and no, no concerns, so that's good. She also said not to be too worried about the whole milk thing because, um, you know, even though we started weaning the bottles yesterday, he hasn't been drinking as much milk as he normally would with formula, which makes sense because drinking out of a bottle is probably a lot easier than a straw cup. And she said it's fine. Just, if he doesn't drink that much milk, give him more dairy in other ways like cheese or yogurt. So not going to be too stressed about that either. Just got bang cookies sent to me for free. Not sponsored or anything, but they just sent me some cookies to try out. So I'm excited to give a few of these a good taste. And I do like that you can freeze them because... I definitely won't be able to finish all these. I think I'm most interested in the triple chocolate. All right, I'm gonna try the bang cookies. I have the triple chocolate, I think, and the s'mores. Mm. They're very large. It's a little boy, active. Very chocolatey and soft inside. Mm -hmm. mm. Very brownie like almost. More Good marshmallow. Got my birthday gift. I didn't realize it comes with a sleeping mask, cream, and the lip mask. In line for boba, guys. Got my 
unusual rose. We got the chai. How's the chai? It's good. I didn't realize chai has ginger. I wonder you like it. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it normally has it. It has cinnamon in it. Ezra's trying to drink his milk. Not interested. Oh, maybe he's looking at that dog. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's birthday week-ish. <laughs> And we're starting the festivities tonight. We're eating dinner at home. We got horns, horns or horn barbecue from Oakland. Uh, we placed the order and we just picked, my parents picked it up and then we have baked salt Betty for dessert. And yeah, the festivities, festivities will start today and then we're gonna celebrate on my actual birthday. But we're here visiting my parents for the weekend and Wednesday we'll be back home to celebrate my actual birthday. So yeah, the 32 celebrations start now. Got the brisket. How much is this one? Half? Or how many pounds? Oh, half. I don't know. It just says, it just says half. Half order of brisket. No. Birthday dinner. For you. Birthday dinner. Corn barbecue. Homemade cornbread. Even Ezra gets the cornbread. Yummy. Seems to like it. Not bad. Even though you made people make you uh, you off. Mmm. It's really tasty. Wow. Good salty. Salty? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why I figure. Yeah, it, it is, is salty. It is, it is pretty salty. Because they use, I think, um, probably you think of the ham hot or something. Mmm. Yeah. It is tender. Ooh. Hi, this, this one gets to this one. Ezra, show us what outfit we chose for you. Wow, Mr. Yoda. Are you baby Yoda? Is it? How can you tell? Technically, it just says Star Wars. Today's my birthday. Say happy birthday, mommy. Happy birthday, mommy. I am officially 32. Today is my birthday, so my parents are going to come watch Ezra while we and I go out for a surprise dinner. And otherwise, just have work and taking care of this little guy today. But yay! Happy birthday to me! We're off for my birthday. Parents are watching Ezra and we're going to go to the surprise location. So if we want me to close my eyes, I will not know where we're going. So I'll check in with you when we're there. I guess maybe when it warms up. Let's see. Let's see. Rose lemonade. Mm. Quite carbonated. Huh? I do taste the rose though. It's good. First dish. From the caviar. Mm. Like a chip. Oh, I see the dill crumble. How do you remember what this was called? Canapé? No, this. I just remember he said dill crumble. What's on the bottom? Yeah, it's a dill. So cool. This is uh, Charlie, Jordan, uh, Manny. Hello. We have Leonel and uh, Mama. She's been with her.
Bobby. 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 Yeah. Hurry, everyone take your pictures. Wait, 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 wait. Jake is like, oh. I think he wait. went out. Ticker's not happy. All the babies are looking. Ticker's not happy. Happy Halloween. We are the Star Wars family. I am Princess Leia, if you can't tell. This is literally all I had. Oh, baby Yoda slash Yoda is on the run. Hui is a Jedi. Or Sith. Oh, because you're evil? He doesn't... We'll, we'll insert pictures of him with his... Oh, you have to do a thing with your thing later. I'll wait till nighttime, actually. Also, my grandma knit this for Ezra. So, she's very talented. And she did it within like a few... Like a week, pretty much. And it fits him well, so... Yeah, and surprisingly, he's keeping on his hood. Here at Trunk or Treat. With our church. Ezra is enjoying himself. Oh, good job. I hope you guys enjoyed our October vlog. We had a great Halloween for Ezra, even though it was his second, his real one dressing up. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more content and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Say bye, Ezra.